What's going on lads, AP414 here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Now today is simply going to be Team of the Year 2015. I'm going to be going through all the Team of the Year nominees guys and basically discussing them, whether I think they should be in there and maybe a few controversial decisions on whether I think they shouldn't. We're going to kick start off here with the goalkeepers and Joe Hart guys. Um, he's one of four goalkeepers course, plays for Manchester City, got a few stats up here, he's got... 45 goals conceded. He has also got 18 clean sheets, and I know he got the Golden Glove last year in the Premier League. The win percentage is also 63% for him, and he has actually made 43 appearances for Manchester City. So, you know, the only stat I would say is pretty poor is the goals conceded 45. Apart from that, you know, he is pretty solid. We then have Gianluigi Buffon here, of course, from Juventus. Um, he's got 37 goals conceded, 19 clean sheets, and a win percentage of 58%. Of course, Juventus is poor start of the season. Is the even that isn't a lot higher um towards the end of last season when they nearly actually made it to the treble i'm sure that would have been around about 70 percent he has also made a 48 appearances for uv i'm pretty sure um that that is a fair adjustment as well he is in the team of the year um, nominees can move on here to manuel Neuer, guys of course from Bayern munich the german international has only conceded 36 goals he's got um 20 clean sheets the win presented, of course, as playing for Bayern Munich, you are going to have a high one, 73%, and he's also got 44 appearances for Bayern Munich, so, you know, that is really pretty good, you know, less than a goal conceded each game by a long shot, so, yeah, he's just an absolutely fantastic goalie, in my opinion, the best in the world, and he should be in the team as the goalkeeper. We then have the strangest one for me, I'm sure many of you guys would have heard of this guy, but looking at who this guy was, I thought he was like a Celtic goalkeeper, but actually looking deep into it, it's Dennis Boyko from FC Dynapro, and I don't actually know, like, I'm not going to say I do know about him, because I would be lying, he's got 27 goals conceded, fair play, that is pretty fantastic, he's got um, 16 clean sheets, only a win percentage of 50%, but you know, that's not really the main stat here, and 36 appearances, he must have done something incredible, maybe like Dinner Pro won the Ukrainian League, I don't know, but that is why he is in there, and uh, yeah guys, gonna move swiftly on to the defenders here, and I'm gonna kick start off with David Alaba, of course, recently packed him in my packed out series the other day, but yeah, plays with Bayern Munich, has only got 5 goals, which is actually pretty solid as a defender, don't really know what I'm saying, only, and he's got a win percentage of 82%, of course, of course, it's going to be very high as a Bayern Munich player, and he's also got 30, 33 appearances. David Luiz here, guys, for PSG, of course, goal scored four, win percentage of 62, and 64, 34 appearances even. So, yeah, David Luiz and David Alaba, um, I think it's fair enough that they are in the nominees. Um, potentially, Alaba should be in the whole, like, thing at left back. I think he probably should. But, yeah, going to move swiftly on to Diego Godin here. From Atletico Madrid, of course, the Uruguayan, he's actually been fantastic this season. He may get in it. It's very tight slot for the defenders. He's got a win percentage of 53%. He's got 45 appearances, which is absolutely huge this year. Um, and he's also got four goals to his name. Got Ricardo Rodriguez here from Wolfsburg. Of course, I've heard a lot about this guy. He does tend to get like two informs per FIFA. And he may have got a team of the season card last year. Not sure. Will he get a team of the year card this year? I don't know. We then have got Thiago Silva, guys. You know, I knew he would be in here. He probably will get into the team. Although he does have some tough contenders. But, you know, he's a pretty good centre back in my eyes. Uh, win percentage 65%. Got some goals under his belt, and all you guys know about Thiago Silva, he is just a god. Got Sergio Ramos here and Gerard Piquet, the two Spaniard defenders. Um, both been pretty solid, of course, Gerard Piquet with an 88% win percentage, which is off the rails. Sergio Ramos only following that up with a 66%. Piquet's also made more appearances than um, Ramos from Real Madrid. But, you know, they are both well um, wealthy candidates to get into the squad, guys. We've also got Jerome Boateng here, who, in my opinion... Is probably the best centre back in the world. He's just absolutely superb for Bayern Munich. You know, you look how many goals Bayern Munich have conceded this year, and you look how many they've scored. I think Barting is a massive part of that. Of course, I've been getting informs on FIFA all over the shop, and yeah, he's just a general player, general insane player all round. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. We also got Bonucci and Chiellini, guys here. Of course, both from Juventus, um, both pretty solid defenders in fairness to them. Yeah, Bonucci, I can't really see him getting anywhere near there, but you know, he has been pretty solid for Juve throughout the past few years. And also Chiellini, he was always going to be in there. He was expected to be in there, guys. Also got Dani Alves here for Barcelona, you know, I, again, I would expect him to be in there. And Javier Mascherano, um, not too sure, why, I think 
maybe someone else could have been in there instead of him. But, you know, he is in there. We then got the midfielders, guys. So, you know, we've got 12 more here, guys. So, I'll just go through all of their names quickly here. We've got Kevin De Bruyne, Eden Hazard, Hamas Rodriguez, Yevon Konoplyanka, um, Hakan Chenoglu, Arturo Vidal, Paul Pogba, Ivan Rakitic, Chris Oviak, Iniesta, Marquiso, and Verratti. I'm going to pick a few out here. I'm going to start off here with Andres Iniesta. Um, I think he was an absolutely fantastic player for Barcelona, of course. Was a massive part in the Classico win the other day. And, yeah, has been playing some absolutely fantastic performances for Barcelona. Also going to pick up here Altura Vidal, another Bayern Munich player. I think he's been doing absolutely superbly for them. New signing. Also did fantastically for Juventus the other part of this year. So yeah, wouldn't be surprised if he gets in there. And I'm also going to pick up Aiden Hazard, being a Chelsea fan. And although this guy, of course, this season has slipped a bit, I think you have to respect what he did at, like in like the 2014-15 to 15 season. He was pretty insane, guys. So yeah, wouldn't be surprised if he gets a spot in the starting lineup, guys. Going to move on to the strikers now here. We've got, um, I think we've got 12 more. Yes, we have. We've got Ronaldo, Lewandowski. We've got Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, Neymar, Muller, Ibrahimovic, Sergio Aguero, Griezmann, Sanchez, Morata, and Gareth Bale. Going to pick up a few here straight off. We've got Robert Lewandowski. You know, we, you, we know how much this guy's done. He's got 44 appearances and 41 goals. For me, that is like off the rails. That is what, what world cl cl class strikers have been doing. And yeah, Lewandowski is just on form at the moment. Also got Ronaldo here, 44 goals in 47 appearances. Again, an absolutely incredible stat. And yeah, he probably is going to get in. And we've got Lionel Messi, of course. Um, doesn't get as many goals, but you know, he's a fantastic team player and he probably is the best player in the world at the moment. He's also got his two other players, Luis Suarez and Neymar. You know, they've both got a lot of goals to their belt. Luis Suarez just taking the goals by um, two, but you know, Neymar is a massive team player. I think a bit more than Suarez. Suarez loves to get the goals. So does Neymar. They're both superb players. And then just to finish off, guys, I'm going to pick out Ibrahimovic here. Whenever I see Ibrahimovic play on telly, like, I don't really see him do that much, especially in like, the PSG Real matches. But you know, um, especially in that Sweden match that we saw in like 2012 or something, that literally just blew me away. So, you know, Zlatan, he can perform in the big occasion. So, again, wouldn't be surprised to see him in there. But that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, then please drop a like. If you want to see more of these sort of videos, then leave them in the comment section down below. Maybe if you want to see a winter upgrades video or something like that, I will get that out. But, yeah, that's actually going to be it for this video. And, yeah, I'll see you all next time, and bye.